so while there are countless Ninja Turtle figure knockoffs, let's look at something you almost never see. A knockoff of a Ninja Turtle's vehicle. <laughs> Argentina has a few rather sneaky bootlegs and knockoffs for Ninja Turtles, and these vehicles are definitely one of them. These things copied very closely the design of the Playmates Ninja Turtle vehicle boxes, so just looking at this thing, it's a little hard to tell that this isn't legit. One of its biggest tip-offs is, of course, that it was even made in Argentina, but only one side of the box actually has Industria Argentina on it. Probably one of the most impressive things about this knockoff is how closely they have copied the art style that would be on the official Ninja Turtle vehicle boxes. They didn't screw with the name or anything, and just setting these things beside each other, these really look like they would have came from the same line. But of course, when you really look closely, you'll notice some things wrong, like the lack of a Playmates logo. In fact, you don't get any company logo on this thing at all. It's just Industry Argentina, and even if this was licensed out to another company to release in Argentina, they would definitely have some name on there somewhere. And even though once in a while the bootleggers go to the extra effort of including fake copyrights, when they aren't there, it's a tip-off that it's not legit. And while they even copied the top of the box's design very closely, you'll notice that instead of giving you a picture of the actual toy, they instead just copied the artwork photo again. In fact, nowhere on this box do they show you what the actual toy looks like. They just repeat the artwork photo over and over again. Guess they were really proud of that, which hey, in this case, they definitely should be. But you really gotta give it up to them for copying so many things almost exactly with this one, even the bullet points about the vehicle. Giant rubber tires, original turtle design, free wheel action. Well, only one of those actually means anything, which is the rubber tires. Now, there is no exact match for this turtle pickup 4x4 in the official line, but there was the shell top 4x4, which is what I think they're going for an equivalent of. They even copied some things like the little flag on the back of the vehicle. So, here's what the turtle pickup 4x4 actually looks like. And it is pretty close to what they depicted on the box, but on close inspection of the toy, you can see why they decided not to actually show it on here. The main reason, I'm sure, being this. If you really pay attention, you can easily see that the doors don't actually open. So, uh, yeah, wow, guys, that's great. A turtle's vehicle that you can't actually put the turtles inside of. What a lie! But oh well, look at that chromed exhaust in rear view window. One of which seems to be missing on mine. But at least I got a spare tire. Yeah, really, for some reason they gave me a fifth tire. And they couldn't even get a picture of a full pizza for the hood. Give me a break. Wow, that face of the turtle on the flag looks pretty damn doofy. It looked a lot better on the box. Uh, yeah, why didn't they just copy that picture for it? So, yeah, I'm quite sure with this truck that it was just a mold for a generic truck toy, and then they said, well, we can just slap on a few turtles decals and use it for a knockoff turtle. Turtles vehicle. And this swinging backside gun was probably also another addition for this Turtles version. 
I guess it's a good thing no one can actually get in and drive this thing when almost half the windshield is being obstructed by them having to remind you that, hey, they're turtles, remember? I do kind of dig the ridiculous color scheme of this vehicle. It's pretty 90s and I like the blue and green camo thing it's got going. It seems most likely that this pickup vehicle mold was also bootlegged from the looks of this. It's got its simple industry Argentina marking and then they tried to blot out what looks to be the original company's name. And from what I can make out it looks like this says Kerostil? I tried looking that up but I didn't find anything. But uh, here's probably the most problematic thing with this vehicle. Vehicle. It's not quite in scale with the figures it's supposed to work with. Or at least the bootleg version of these figures that it's supposed to work with. Not like they can go in anyway, but even if the doors did open, these figures would never fit in there. But I can just about get Leo in the right position for that gunner's chair in the back, since that was probably something added after. But there's no angry Mike and lazy Raph to drive it. Or Donatello to wonder why the hell he wasn't included in the picture. This does feel decently put together in a few ways. The plastic isn't overly cheap, and it does actually have rubbery tires, so that's something. It even has a peg on the back for that extra tire. They did a decent enough job turtlesing up this pickup truck as well, with a bunch of turtles decals and the turtles flag held on by a metal coil, so it bounces around a lot. Obviously though, the mirrors could have been attached a little nicer since one fell off. The main thing left to be desired though, of course, is doors that actually open. Especially when this is supposed to be a vehicle for Turtles figures. Well, at least this repackaging of it is. Six. Considering how I don't see Turtles vehicles get knocked off too often, it'll get some points for that, even if it is just a redress mold of a generic pickup toy. They did at least slap on a bunch of Ninja Turtles stuff, and add a gunner's chair onto the back. Five. This 4x4 four four is kind of the more normal version of this than the one that appeared in the actual line. The closest thing to this that ever appeared officially was released in the UK Hero Turtles line and it was a track racer vehicle. But uh, yeah, it's kind of weird that a knockoff turtles truck even exists. For. The box really is my favorite thing about this particular knockoff, and it's really where they put the most effort. The level to which they copied the Playmates Turtles vehicles boxes was very impressive, and the artwork is actually pretty damn cool. This is definitely one you have to look twice at before you might realize that it's not legit. It would have been kind of nice though if they'd actually showed something different on one of the sides of the box. Nine. Here's where this truck really flops because the turtles can't actually drive in it and its scale is way out of whack with the real figures or any bootleg lines of them that you could get in Argentina. Even the gunner chair they added is a bit too big compared to the rest of the truck, however that does at least mean that a figure can sort of fit in there. And I have seen a picture of one of these trucks with a smaller scale rubbery looking turtle that seems to fit in the chair almost perfectly. It could be that sometimes these trucks would come with this little figure, or maybe mine's just missing. If it did ever actually come with the truck, that's kind of funny when the box says figures sold separately, but then again they might have just put that on there since the real boxes do. But even if you had one of these little smaller scale figures to go with it, none of the rest of your Ninja Turtles figures would work, so two. And the bootleg zones overall is six! It gets points for being a fairly different Ninja Turtles knockoff and having a quality box, but loses a bit for not being the proper scale or even having the ability to put any figure in the driver's seat. <laughs> Prepare 
to be blown away by my new invention. New invention, Donnie? This looks a lot like a regular pickup truck. Sure, to the untrained eye, but take a look at my modifications. Well, you sure do have some stickers on there with my face. But check this out, dudes! A sticker of pizza, which is already partly eaten! That's, uh, really impressive, daddy! Aw, oh, bunch of wise guys! Take a look at the real shit behind me! Whoa! A flag! You outdid yourself this time, Donnie! Stop being morons, guys! This is the backside swinging gun, and I can almost sit in the chair without the handle obstructing me! Is it supposed to be like that? I highly doubt it. Donatello, I think, has been overworked. Would you guys stop? Just get in! Uh, yeah, we can't. The doors don't open, dude. And even if they did, we'd never fit in there, Donatello! Holy shit, how did I fuck this up so bad? I'll be over here. You guys enjoy the truck without me. I hate this truck, dude! If I could drive it, I'd be pissed! That's a Mikey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it? I don't know. <laughs>